Today in the menu is a delicious chickpea masala recipe from north of India. Punjabi chole masala with tips and tricks on how to make those dried beans taste buttery soft. Hey everyone, namaskar and welcome to curries with Bombi. 1 cup of dried chickpeas. Add a liter of water. Then add about a tablespoon of salt. The salt does two things. One, it tenderizes the outer skin of the chickpeas. Which brings me to number two that is, it keeps the beans intact even after cooking. The softer that outer skin becomes, the lesser the beans will burst out in the process of cooking. The end result, soft beans without tough skins and no starchy, sticky, unappealing texture. Stir well to dissolve that salt. Now let it get soaked for 6 to 8 hours, preferably overnight. The next day, drain out all that briny water and give it a good rinse. Do not forget to discard that salt water as it will make your dish overly salty and inedible. If you happen to see any loose outer skin, pick that out. Pressure cooker, add the chickpeas, 3 cups of hot water. Do not add too much water. The water level must be just a little bit above the beans. Whole spices, a cinnamon stick, a dried bay leaf, half a teaspoon of salt and then two tea bags. Don't worry, I won't be teaching you how to make chickpea chai today. This recipe calls for tea to get the dark brown color. You can even use loose tea leaves if you do not have tea bags. I have given all the details of how to do that in the description box. Then comes another ingredient, baking soda. The baking soda weakens the cell walls within the beans, allowing the beans to soak up water at a faster rate, resulting in the beans getting buttery soft in a short amount of time. Pressure cook it for 22 minutes. While that is happening, let's go to prepping the other ingredients. Two large onions, finely chopped, or you can even use a grater. Two large tomatoes, pureed, or you can even use a third of a cup of canned crushed tomatoes. Ginger, and a good amount of garlic, finely chopped. Make a spice paste. Today I will be using chana masala. You can buy this online or you will get it at any Indian grocery store. It is sold as either chana masala or chole masala. Ground coriander. A little bit of red chilli powder. Keep in mind that the chana masala already has some chilli powder in it. So if you do not want your dish to be spicy, then do not add the red chilli powder. Or you can even add paprika. I also added a tiny pinch of ground turmeric. This recipe calls for very little turmeric. Add a few tablespoons of water. Mix. Once you are done pressure cooking, allow all the pressure to be released naturally and then open the lid of your cooker. Discard the cinnamon stick, bay leaf and the tea bags. If you happen to see any scum floating on top, spoon that out as well. and see how soft the chickpeas have become. And that chickpea went inside my mouth. No wasting policy, you know that. Take a bowl, put a strainer on top. Pour in the chickpeas. As you can see, all my beans are intact and maintaining their shape, though they are buttery soft, thanks to that brining method. Save that gorgeous water for later. Pot on medium heat. Oil. Once the oil turns hot, add the onions. Pinch of salt to soften down the onions. Stir the onions from time to time on medium heat. This will take some time my friends. Please do not rush this process by cranking up the heat of your stove. In that way, the onions will look browned up but they won't get softened. 
I would advise you to try this recipe on a weekend when you have time on hand and patience to deliver in making such a flavorful dish. The onions are starting to get brown. Add a splash of water if things look too dry. It took me about 15 minutes to get this gorgeous color on my onions. Hope you didn't get a hiccup hearing the amount of time. Just wanted to give you an idea so that you do not fret and fume while making the dish. Next the spice paste goes in. Stir on medium low heat for a minute. Chopped ginger and garlic. I added a little bit of oil as things were looking very dry. Pureed tomatoes and chopped green chilies. Now this dish is a bit spicy but if you want to avoid the heat then leave out the green chilli. Stir on medium low heat till the tomatoes get well fried. When you can see the oil leaving the sides, that means everything is well fried and we are ready to add the next ingredient. The chickpeas dive in with all their glory. Add just a little sprinkle of salt. Remember, your chana masala can have added salt in it, so always do a taste test before adding salt. Little bit of garam masala powder and a good amount of chopped coriander leaves. Stir gently so that you do not break any of those chickpeas. Then comes that gorgeous brown chickpea tea liquor. You can add more water if you want it to be soupy. But guys, do not make a swimming pool as that will dilute the flavor. Once it comes up to a boil, Cover it on low heat for about 8 minutes. After 8 minutes you will get this delicious spicy chickpea masala curry. The chickpeas turn out to be melt in your mouth soft and buttery. Serve this with roti or naan. I have it with rice but that's because I am a rice lover. Please try this recipe and send me your feedback. This is Boombi and thanks for joining me today. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye.